Hey, it's Coach with Tactile Hive out here on the range. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about setting up your, your AR for your specific mission. Now, that's my terminology, our terminology. You know, you can call it a philosophy of use or whatever you're going to employ this gun for. Um, first off here, and you can do this with ARs because they're so versatile, you know. This is a standard AR-15, but now I've got my uh, fixed three power scope on there, okay, because it's, it's, it's bomber. And it's a primary arms uh, 3X with the ACSS reticle, recommended. And then the Dr. Red Dot on, on top at 12 o'clock. Some guys like to mount them down here at 45 degrees, which is, it's an option, but if you drop your gun or bang it up, chances of it being out here like this, is it ten tends to get more banged up. Whereas 12 o'clock, very rarely does anybody drop the gun straight on top of its head. So a little more protected there. I got my little stubby vertical foregrip out here and a flashlight because you never know when it's gonna go dark, right? Or when you have to look into a space. So that's pretty much minimums on here is gonna be this. But because of that, I have that powered optic, I can reach out farther, okay? And be a little more effective if that's what I'm, you know, my, my, in my house, this isn't gonna help because it's long, okay? And it's got some weight to it just because of the extra size. Okay, so now what I can do with this, I can take my, my ranch gun, whatever you want to call it, you know, your outdoor gun, your wilderness gun, and I can come over here and put my lightweight upper on there. Okay. So now I've just changed from outdoor gun to an indoor gun. This is really, really light. I'm not concerned about shooting long distance with this, so my red dot optic is just fine. Okay, got your Romeo 5 on there. It shakes awake and preserves the battery. All right, got my flashlight because you gotta light up the dark. And then I have a backup iron sight set up here and it's a fixed backup iron. Because if something happens here and this one ain't working, I can bring it up. I'm just gonna use the, sco the, uh, the red dot sight as a rear aperture. And inside my house, I mean, I don't live in a mansion. So inside my house, that's gonna be good enough for, you know, minute a man and to get effective fire on there. Okay, so this is lightweight, easy to move, it's a little shorter, it's maneuverable, still 16 inches total, pinned and welded, but it's, it weighs a whole lot less and it's handier for close quarters. Now, if you wanna reach out and touch people and go a little farther, you might have to move up to 7.62. And so your AR-10 platform can get you out there. Now on this, slightly more magnification on the scope. I think this one goes out to six or eight. Still, I'm gonna have a flashlight on there because, well, again, I see better with white light on. Okay, and then 12 o'clock, again, got that red dot on there. So in case I'm in close, I can still work. This is not ideal, but I can also reach out a lot farther with a lot more effect with this one. And of course I got the uh, California Legal Ledesma. So now this is, uh, you know, for you, for you guys that are gonna ask, <laughs> I live in California and I have to set my rifle up like this in order to be able to do this. Okay, you can't have uh, a flash hider, a vertical foregrip, uh, or a standard pistol grip or a telescoping stock. This one's fixed. Okay. Just answer those questions before you ask them. So again, this has got a little heavy, okay? It's gonna be you know, in the probably nine pound range where it sits. So you're gonna have to weigh, does it make sense for what I'm gonna be doing with it? Probably can't go hunting deer with these. Most states won't let you. I could hunt deer with that. I can hike in the back country. There's, I have uh, options. But as you put stuff together, try to avoid putting too much onto your gun. There's a lot of stuff that'll, that'll attach to, the, to the, uh, the AR platform. But you see, I've got plenty of rail space on each one of these that's wide open. Okay, just because there's rail space there doesn't mean you gotta put something on it. All right, so as always, if you like the content, like, subscribe, 
Leave me a comment.